This lesson introduces some metaphors that people use when describing organizations and change. Let us start with, what is a metaphor? A metaphor is a figure of speech in which a word or phrase is applied to an object or action to which it is not literally applicable. A thing regarded as representative or symbolic of something else. To help how we think about organizations, we look at some metaphors written by Gareth Morgan in his book, Images of Organization. He describes how the way we think about organizations, the metaphors we hold in our minds, affects our behavior. The way we approach change is affected by the mental models we use. He lists eight metaphors, but acknowledges there could be others. Morgan's aim was not to present an exhaustive account of every conceivable metaphor, that can be used to understand and shape our organizational life. Rather, it is to reveal, through illustration, the power of metaphor in shaping organizational management and how the ultimate challenge is not to be seduced by the power or attractiveness of a single metaphor, old or new, so much as to develop an ability to integrate the contributions of different points of view. Although Morgan lists eight metaphors, only four are examined, and these are Machines can be designed and controlled Brains intelligence-led and resemble a library and memory bank Political systems Systems of government managing the common and conflicting needs of various interest groups Flux and transformation Chaos and complexity, where hierarchy and control have limited relevance Order emerges naturally we have looked at a couple of different examples of organizational metaphors, and thinking about these and other metaphors can make a profound difference to the way we make change. It is important to listen to the words used by those leading change and to identify the patterns of metaphor that lie behind them. It provides a framework for thinking about particular change. Which metaphors provide the best insights into the issues involved? How might we look at the change from other perspectives? It offers a way of considering different approaches to change offered by different authors and consultants, helping us to evaluate the likely strengths and weaknesses of particular approaches.